What's going on? We got a Shante Ryder Tay Henderson. Fresh out. Welcome on. What's going on? How you doing? No, man, it's been a long time coming, man. You know? I feel you. Fresh out. So with how, how long you just get through doing? Eleven and a half, man. Like it's a decade, man, you know. Um, 2010, man, just it's been a minute. So you basically that's 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 eleven straight. You ain't had no time in between then. That's 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 with, without that little break from the last one. Nah, uh, I did eleven and a half, man. You know, September would have been twelve. You know what I'm saying? So just just straight, eleven straight. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're gonna uh, take it back a little bit to the beginning. Let everybody know where you come from. You know where right. you was born at and everything. You know, I know your story a little bit, but we're gonna let the viewers right. know. So. You know, where was you born at? Let them know. Just, I was born in Kansas City, Missouri, man. You know, uh, since since I was young, that's just where, where I've been. You know, I was back and forth as a youngster uh, between Kansas City and St. Louis. But uh, that's that's my stomping ground. So that's, that's where they get get the confusion mixed up because it's a lot of confusion. Right. On, not a lot of confusion, but it's a little confusion on the internet of the you know, the St. Louis and maybe such and such being from St. All that, but but you do got St. Louis ties though. You was you you, you spent childhood there a little bit. Right. What it is is man, you know, uh my mama's side of the family is from St. Louis. My actually my mother was born and raised in St. Louis. My daddy was born and raised in Kansas City. So you know, before me, you know, they met in L U. And you know, they mm -hmm. did what they did and um Pops moved her to the city. So, you know, before I was born, you know, she was already in the city. So that's where I was born and raised. Till I was about about five years old, you know, uh, moms ran off and took us with her. Cause you know, they she left Pops, you know, so me and my brothers, we went to St. Louis a couple years. And uh I was back in the city probably like three years later. I was back in Kansas City. So that's just what that is, you know. But uh, it's always been Kansas City, man. You know, that's just was my other side of the family. So you from the north side of Kansas City? North side, man. Like just born and raised, man. Grandma raised all of her kids and all of her grandkids in the projects, you know. Like my daddy and auntie and uncles all was raised in the high rises, Wayne Minor. Mm -hmm. and, uh, that was before us. You know, when, when, when Wayne Minor got tore down, you know, that's when they built the square. And, and Grandma was the one of the first ones that, that broke the square in. She moved to the square, and that's when we was born. So now she's raising all her grandkids in the square. So that's actually where I'm from, the square. Okay, I feel you. So uh, kind of give me a little bit of how it was coming up in, you know, Parker Square, 1200, you know, the north side. How was it? Was it, you know, you have a normal upbringing, you know, was it, you know, you went to school and all that, you know, how, how all that go? Well, the thing about it is, like, I can't say I came from a broken home. Like, you know, I grew up in grandma's house. Uh, I didn't want to stay with my pops because uh, my pops was south, you know, him and his girlfriend. You know, my mother, my mother passed when I was 10 years old, so. Mm -hmm. I just had my pop, so I always wanted to live with my grandmother. Cause I mean, that's where it was at. That's the hood, and I I can't say I came from a broken home, cause you know, grandma they did everything they could for me not to end up in the streets and you know end up in the on the block like that. But it's just what I wanted. So just growing up in the projects, man, just your everyday typical just life, man, thug life, street life. I seen everything. You know what I'm saying? And even though I wasn't raised to, to be like that, that's just, that's what I wanted to do. And that's what I did. I found a way, 